What are you going on about now? Ain't nothing you couldn't pull off with a degree in computer engineering and a little elbow grease. Come off it now. You ain't got time for this. Uh huh. Is it supposed to be moving? Aye. Bloody creepy that is. Try not to pay it any mind now. Thing's stuck in calibration mode. Trick is, I got it thinking it's plugged into a new host. And by rewriting the system diagnostic checks, it'll keep trying to connect without detecting anything to miss, which in turn keeps it alive in a manner of speaking. Fucking brilliant piece of engineering work if I don't so myself. Oh, it's good shit, buddy. Oh. Why only one use? Without being hooked up to a proper battery, like your brain, the voltage spike from a single scan will trip the surge protectors, shutting it down to prevent further transmissions. It's a redundant safety mechanism built into the optic nerve to prevent frying your noggin and a dorsal ventral feedback loop. Short of putting the thing in your own head, which I ain't exactly equipped to do, there's no way around it. Besides, I think the commander preferred this way. Gotcha. All right. Well, hopefully this thing works. It'll work just dandy so long as you don't do something stupid like drop it. And it ain't a bloody webcam. So don't try using it to spy the knickers up someone's skirt. No promises, buddy. Buy some. Alright, so let's see here. Should have plenty of shit to sell him. Yeah, trade the arts, you know that. Keeping this stuff. Uh, two grand. Didn't have that. Satisfaction guaranteed. No, I think your satisfaction's been guaranteed with getting that gun. Just don't show it to Burke. <laughs> Might get a little pissed off of that. Uh, let's see, nothing here? No. Yeah, but I almost forgot about this. Almost. It's really nothing special. I think it's more or less just a dead end with like one thing. Got a ladder. Let's see. Did this bring us anywhere? Is... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, there's beer. Ah, oh, okay. I see now. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna save real quick. Just in case I fuck this up. Let me see. Uh. 331, yeah, 331, that's the one we're going to save over. Because that was the one that, that was the original one that I did, but, oh well. Gone now. Huh. Hey, look at me. Cool. Let's find out where this leads. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Um, let me see. Where are we? Where the hell am I? Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. There's no other. Well, there's that goddamn thing. Okay. Hold on. Uh, let's see if we can't deactivate that. Annoying thing. Next time I go over there. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. Another. I'm gonna find out. Hmm. So I guess I don't see a panel. Guess I answered that question, but. Is anyone there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, shit. Who said that? Who the fuck said that? Seriously? Hello? Um... Hello? Oh shit 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 shit. Okay. Where the hell did he come from? Why are these people not showing up on my radar? You know what? Hold on. Maybe that's why, because I need that. I need the upgrade, probably. Do it. Or not.
Where'd he go? What? What is he, like, stairway guy? Oh, fuck it. I don't know. Let's just go. Just be quiet about it, for God's sake. Damn. Security scan. That scared the piss out of me. For good reason, too, I would think. Shit. Biometric data assembled. Alright. Let's get through this loading door, then the next one, and go from there. Subject recognized. Oh. Access granted. Okay, thank you. Now, if I remember, we shouldn't have anything to fear about this. Is everyone still knocked the fuck out? Yeah. Should be good. Should be. this nonsense. You know what? Since I've got that... Anyway, I was in the right... Let's go ahead and give ourselves that next battery. There you go. That's nice. Gives us a bit more wiggle room. And plus, I don't feel quite so bad about using one of the, the bigger, like, protein bars or such. we go. Done and done. So now we can get back over here and do our thing. Alright. Activating security scan. You do that. Good. God. So how you guys doing? You doing good? I hope you're doing good. Me, I'm uh data assembled. You know, I'm just hanging around. I'm just Waiting for this thing to scan me for the 18th time, and yeah. So far, this is about my only complaint with the DLC, really. Subject recognized. Just. Access granted. Ah, a bit ridiculous is all. Okay. But, guess what? We're just about where I left off, and I get to go a little bit further. Since I got a little more time. Boom. And... Scan me! Access granted. Pitching. It's a ladder. Good night. Huh. Oh yeah, so enjoy the view here. It's about to get cool. Pretty cool, I'd say so. Under the sea! It's Keitner. Where are you? In a well-concealed elevator inside the prison's restricted wing. Your gun-running neural engineer deserves a raise. I take it the I worked then. Good. Now listen, if what you say is true, if Burke really is using the prisoners here as lab rats, I need proof. Hard evidence that I can take to Interpol. An entire prison full of kidnapped civilians isn't enough? You're an ex-cop, Jensen, you tell me. How many death row inmates crying on about their innocence have you seen getting out? Point taken. I'll see what I can find. Alright, hey, got another practice again already? Shit. Getting up again, just at the rate we get our upgrades. Kind of crazy. But, I'll take it. Alright. That's sealed off and as is that hello where are you out to machine no good want to die be free please please don't leave me like this no hope this is pretty fucked up Oh, 
Oh, hold on. Back up? What does that say? Hank? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yikes. Can I get in a close up and personal of what they must have done to Jensen? Taking your candy bars. Good God. Hello? What the hell? Oh, I know. My objective is literally right over there, but. A little more interested in Super Realm, besides so obviously not hostile. Heaven to open to all? Biotech industry leaders to debate ethics. Oh, good. So that's finally coming around, and but we'll see more of that in the sequel, really. Damn it, I'm still missing something. Here. Okay. There's that. Maybe I was supposed to take that one that I placed a while back. Initial field tests are positive. Operatives report function within expected parameters. You know what? She's kind of got that same voice from Dead Island. Very familiar voice. Anyway. Uh. You don't need that, Tiffany. Um, I'm gonna just read your shit right over your shoulder or something. Prax Free praxis! What the fuck? Oh, cool! Shit, I'm holding on to that. However, quite the house <gasps> of horrors you got here, Doc. You letting anyone in or just women? Who are you? How'd you get down here? This is a restricted area. Obviously. You wouldn't want the rank and file knowing what kind of sick experimentation is going on down here. No, you you don't understand. I'm not. Where's Burke? <coughs> My research partner, Savage. Burke went back up to the base. And Gary, Gary left. Told me to be smart, keep my mouth shut, and do whatever Burke tells me to do. For now. For now? I heard the three of you talking up there in the morgue. Sounded like you don't exactly fit in here, Dr. Um... Kavanaugh. And who the fuck are you? Huh? The name's Jensen. I came here looking for someone. Megan Reed. Reed? I I've seen her research. Gary thinks it could be the key we're missing. If she can be convinced to come here. Megan Reed was kidnapped, Kavanaugh. Violently. As was her entire scientific team and the dozens of women you've been torturing down here. No! You, you don't understand. I'm trying to save them. Gary and I, we were sent here to put the OCM project back on track. It wasn't until we got here that we realized what that meant, and by then, by then it was too late. Uh-huh. OCM. Savage used that term in the morgue. What does it mean? Organic Computational Matrix. It's a means of cross-connecting living brain tissue and artificial intelligence systems to create a supercomputer of unparalleled capability. Part flesh, part silicon. That's what you're doing down here, turning prisoners into computer parts. Human brain activity has to be integrated with the technology, or else it won't work. Even DARPA knew that. Okay... What does DARPA have to do with this? Nothing. Not... directly. In 2007, they started looking for research partners to help develop an artificial cognitive science program that could increase a soldier's situational awareness in the field. A number of private sector companies submitted proposals. Bell Tower being one of them. No, Bell Tower was a private military corporation. DARPA wanted researchers. But one of the companies who did submit something was a biotech corporation that deals with Bell Tower. And they believed a successful program could be designed if it could be wired directly into the soldiers' brains. DARPA wasn't willing to go that far. So this biotech company took the idea to Bell Tower. A corporation that, being privately funded, doesn't have to concern itself with political or ethical debate. Gotcha. Just how many prisoners are being wired into this thing? I... I don't know. But a lot of them don't seem to survive for more than a year. I've told the others there's no way this project can stay viable with these kinds of numbers. 
But the OCM computers have to have them to work. Computers? You mean there's more than one of them? There's several. This is just where the process starts, the factory floor. We select the candidates here, implant them, and ship them to the other locations. It's all very efficient. Yeah, except your candidates keep dying. <laughs> you seem to think Megan's research is integral to salvaging this project of yours. Why? It's not my project. Had I known before I came here... Right, just answer the question. <sighs> We're experiencing cross-systemic failures with the tech. Over time, subjects implanted with OCM augmentations suffer complete neurological breakdown. They... they pretty much burn up from the inside. Gary thinks it's a problem with the acceptance of the P-Dot Array. I've heard that phrase before. It's the building block of modern neuro-augmentations. Dr. Reed's been reshaping it, changing the way it bonds with living tissue. The mutagenic gene combination she's introduced into it, well, frankly, it's astonishing. Enough to warrant her kidnapping? So she'd be forced to work on this project with you? She's not on this project. I don't know what she's doing or where she is. This is the first time anyone's ever mentioned kidnapping. You're really gonna stand there and try to justify your role in this, aren't you? People are being enslaved, Kavanaugh. Enslaved and crucified. It, it wasn't like that at first. I thought we were gonna make a difference, do something incredible for the world. Right. And look how incredible it turned out to be. But you can still make a difference, Doctor. You can help me blow the lid off this place. Are you insane? I... I can't. There's too much money invested in this. Burke, the people I work for, they'll kill me. They'll hunt me down and kill me. I know people who can protect you, hide you. Interpol is just waiting for evidence to tear Bell Tower apart. It's not just Bell Tower. Oh, God. Oh, God, am I really gonna do this? <sighs> you... You can't get me out through the prison. Burke would stop us. Then we'll have to do what Savage did. Take a submersible. We can't. The hatches to all the docking hangers are locked tight. The only way to unlock them is by using the security console in the prison command tower. Of course. Burke keeps an eye on us that way. Then I'll have to go back up there and unlock it. Well, you gather as much evidence as you can carry. Oh my god. I'm really gonna do this. Damn right you are. Now get moving. I'll contact you when I unlock the hatch. All right, fine. But, Mr. Jensen, please, hurry. I got it, I got it, relax. I'm supposed to take those. Nope. Can't take them back. Okay, but yeah, so this is right where I left off originally, but... Die. Be free. Keitner, contact Interpol. 
We need rendezvous coordinates for a deep sea submersible. A what? What exactly have you found, Jensen? A research complex hidden beneath this base. One of its staff is willing to turn whistleblower if we can deliver her to Interpol using one of the lab's transport subs. Which explains why you need the coordinates. I'll see what I can do. Keitner out. Keitner, what the hell's going on? The elevator stopped. Bert must have intercepted our comms. Get the hell out of there, Jensen. I'll meet you. Team Tango and Intercept, lift is secure, repeat, lift is secure, holding position, suggest you continue protocol, clean slate, out, terminate anyone that opens that door. Sarge, what if it's someone from the science team? Expendable, and likely compromised, do not take this man lightly, soldier, he has infiltrated the high security bell tower base, do not let the low casualty count fool you, it only means he's more resourceful and more dangerous, or he's had help from the inside. Enough yapping. If he comes up here, we'll get our shot at him. Then we'll see about any help he may have had. Dispersal imminent. This is not a drill. All detention silos will be decontaminated. Code yellow initiated. Detention. 
Retention silo decontamination. Proceed. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Recognized. Access granted. Keitner! We really broke open a hornet's nest, didn't we, Jensen? It's bad. You need a medic. <laughs> yeah, I'll get right on that. You got those coordinates, Jensen. But Burke figured it out. Seized control of the station and locked down the detention camp. Bastard's cleaning house. I've got to get Kavanaugh out. Can't. Not until you stop the gas. What gas? Burke's enacted a scorched earth protocol to stop the truth from getting out. Poison gas in every cell. Lab too. Unless you stop it. Stay with me, Keitner. There's a circuit board underneath the prison command tower. It directs the flow. Everything's connected, but might be able to redirect. The whistleblower has to live, Jensen. Only sure way. We stop this. <laughs> Keitner? Keitner! Stay alert for this Agent Park mention.